16 months ago, I moved into a 460 square foot studio in Midtown Manhattan. Out of every apartment I've lived in, I've stayed here the longest, but my lease is ending and after a week of touring new apartments in New York, I'm moving into somewhere new. This is my first time living alone in New York, first time in a studio. Movers are coming tomorrow, but I have nothing packed yet. I'm gonna be packing up all my things and sharing with you guys my new one bedroom apartment in New York. This would be my fourth New York apartment. I'm pretty minimalist where I donate or sell things that I'm not regularly using. So the moving out and boxing process usually isn't that difficult, but I probably could have given myself more than a day to pack everything. But after touring the new one bedroom, I was so excited to move out and settle in the new space. Today is day one of the lease and I just got the keys to my new apartment. I just checked out the new place and I'm really excited to show you guys. about this apartment is the view. This is all water. And honestly, this part of town is so quiet because I'm not facing the road anymore. Just being able to have a bedroom and put my bed stuff there. I can finally get like a sofa and a TV now because it'll finally fit. It's move out day today. I just had my last night's sleep in this apartment. So you're probably wondering the rent for this place. I signed this in February, 2023. It was a one year lease and that was 3,800. I'm gonna get so hated on for paying that much. But if you look at go on streeteasy.com and look at studio prices in Manhattan, which is where I am. This is the lower end for a building with amenities, a doorman, all that stuff. As you can see, my new place is right by the water. And in New York, if you're closer to the water, rent is a bit cheaper because you're farther from the subway lines. The new place has laundry in the building, not in my room, but it's in the basement. So there are just some things that offset it just enough so that the upgrade from studio to one bedroom is not that crazy. I graduated college in 2019 and moved to New York. I got my first job and first apartment here, and it was always a dream to end up here one day. When the pandemic started in 2020, I decided to move to LA to try something new. While living in LA though, I knew that I would end up trying New York again. It's been two years since I've moved back to New York, and it's been great being back here. No plans of living anywhere else just yet. My favorite thing about this studio is the floor to ceiling windows and also partially on this side. And I guess since I moved out, I could totally tell you where exactly I am. So looking out this window, this is facing Chelsea. This is facing downtown. And if you go all the way straight down here along this road, this is like 31st street, It'd be like Hudson Yards over there. I've watched and posted enough apartment tour videos to know what the comments are gonna be. People are always surprised why people online seem like they're moving so frequently. In bigger cities like New York, LA, the average duration for a lease is just one year. It hardly goes over, sometimes at most 14 months, but every year when the lease is done, you're asked whether to re-sign the lease or to move out. If you re-sign the lease, it's almost never gonna be the same rate you just got it for. Usually it goes up by a few percent just because of inflation and just the housing market. And I and almost everyone that I know tend to move out and find a new apartment. Since I don't feel like I'm gonna live in New York forever, I feel like I want the biggest like bang for my buck when it comes to living in Manhattan in my 20s. I got to know this area very well, which is K-Town, Midtown. And when I think about my next year in New York, York. I want to move to a different part of town and get to know that area very well as well. And second, I love moving apartments because whenever I'm in a new space, I feel so much more productive and motivated. Quite excited to move out of the studio. I don't really get sentimental about places. I am definitely more in the mindset that I'm just super excited for the next place. I'm working late. turnaround that I've ever had moving apartments. I toured this apartment on Wednesday. It is now Sunday. Within four days, I toured this place. I signed the lease. I booked movers. And not only that, they dropped off everything late afternoon. And in the same day, I tidied away every single box and put everything where it should be. Personally, I can't really enjoy myself or do anything if things aren't unpacked. This is the same as when I come back from trips. I usually unpack my luggage like instantly. I just had my first night spent in the new one bedroom apartment. I'm so nice to having this much space. I've just been walking around just because I can. I ordered a bunch of things online. Been spending a little too much money on things like a sofa, carpet, TV, TV stand, um, and more lighting too. So these next few days are just gonna be me furnishing this apartment. Is it that sweet I guess so? Mm, that's that me espresso. 
I'm really happy that I could bring out my guitar and have it on display. Because my studio was pretty small, I kept it in my closet and I also never played it because it was just hidden away in my closet. So I got this guitar stand. Whenever there are apartment tour videos on YouTube, people that don't live in New York, they'll always say like, I can't believe you're paying that much for that little space. I saw a podcast, I think it was Andrew Schultz, but he addressed that and he said something like, that tells you how great New York is that despite being in such a small mm -hmm. space, people are still willing to pay that price to be in this city. Nice. I've been doing a ton of shopping, not only online, but also on Facebook Marketplace. These are two bar stools. The lady got them from Ikea, bought them for 50 bucks for both, and they're gonna go right under my counter. My old apartment, the studio, was right next to Herald Square, and I really liked it because of the convenience of just all the food being in Herald Square Station, which is a really central station. But if I wanted a one bedroom in that apartment, it was something like 5.3 to 5.4, like that was the base price. All in all, I'm happy with my apartment. I really don't mind being away from the subway. Like I have a boosted board, an electric skateboard, but yeah. It's been a few days since moving into the new apartment and I honestly couldn't be happier. I love that the neighborhood is much quieter versus what I lived in midtown Manhattan. I love all the extra space from having a one bedroom and I get excited at the idea of filling up the empty living room with new furniture. Moving apartments is like starting new chapters and I love getting the chance to feel a fresh start.